Welcome to this episode where we'll be talking about using of indigenous methods to control fall armyworm infestation on maize crops. Did you know that fish soup can be used to control fall armyworm on infested maize crops? In this episode, we are going to look at uh, a number of indigenous methods that, are, that can be used to control fall armyworm infestation. In Malawi, farmers uh, try to use uh, fish soup from a fish called usipa in order to control the infestation of fall armyworm on uh, infested maize crops. What we are doing here at Isipe, we are trying to, to quantify and scientifically study this particular method. Whereby we have, uh, in this case, we have planted maize on, on pots and prepared fish soup and added sugar solution to it in order to come up with a fish soup and sugar concoction which we applied on crops that have been infested with fall armyworm and thereby started studying on the type and numbers of natural enemies that visit this crop as a result of application of this treatment. This concoction is made from fish soup and sugar solution and the fish we have used is omena which is available, readily available in the market and affordable. Uh, first of all, we put, we take a portion of uh, one kg of omena, boil it in five liters of water for about 30 minutes, then let it to cool down. After cooling, you add about uh, 50 grams of sugar and then you stir it. And after stirring this concussion, you separate the residues the fish residues and the liquid part which is the soup. So after preparing this fish soup concussion, uh, what the farmer should do, put it in a, either in a knapsack or hand sprayer and apply it on top of the, on the infested maize crops, starting from the funnel, going all the way down and make sure that the entire leaf is covered with the fish soup. As a result, this soup, we have found out that through its smell, it is able to attract natural enemies such as ants, wasps and other predators and parasitoids to come and attack the fall armyworm larvae that is on this plant. In addition to using that method of fish soup, we are also integrating other indigenous methods, uh, two of them, one being use of diatomaceous earth which is just soil and two using wood ash, whereby we combine uh, this soup with this wood ash and then apply on the infested maize crops uh, so as to attract the natural enemies using the fish soup and to also attack the fall armyworm with the wood ash which uh, affects and desiccates the body parts of the, the body covering of this larvae. But that is not all. There are other indigenous methods that can be used to control fall armyworm infestation on maize crops. My colleague is coming up next with a method whereby they are using rabbit urine to control fall amion. Hi, my name is Diana Kemunto. I'm a student research intern at ICPE and I have been working on a research on the effectiveness of rabbit urine as a fall army repellent for the last six months and from my research I've been able to garner that there is some sort of repellent with regards um, of using rabbit urine as a biopesticide. It is a practice that we got from the farmers, it is an indigenous practice and we just aim to put some scientific proof to back it up. We came to find out about the use of rabbit urine as a biopesticide through local farmers. Um, we noticed that they had been using the rabbit urine as a biopesticide to control fall army worm and it caught our interest and that's why we decided to explore and research more on this practice. And so far we've been able to find out that there is some sort of repellent um, 
from the rabbit urine. Uh, it has shown to be quite effective at the very early stages of the fall armyworm, that is being the neonates, and at the third stage of the fall armyworm. And so far, we've been able to come up with a certain concentration that the farmers can be able to use um, with regards to applying in their farms, because the urine can be quite acidic and it might lead to the scorching of plants. So we've been able to come up with a proper and uh, a good concentration of the rabbit urine to be used to control the fall army worm. From the research we've been able to establish the effectiveness of the rabbit urine with regards to the different stages and we've been able to see that the effectiveness of the rabbit urine is most effective at the first level stage followed by the third level stage and finally at the second level stage. That is what we've been able to um, get from our research with regards to the effectiveness of rabbit urine as a biopesticide. We hope to share with you uh, further findings and outcomes and hopefully the technology is going to be taken up and serve as a way to control fall armyworm and preserve the environment at large with it being a biopesticide. Please keep it here, remember to subscribe and stay tuned for further research outcomes from ACP.